Our unity comes from our union with Christ. Our Daily Bread Today's encouragement from the Our Daily Bread devotional was written by Jennifer Benson Schultz. While Nicholas Taylor was boarding a train in Perth, Australia, his leg became wedged in the gap between the platform and a commuter car. When safety officials couldn't free him, they coordinated the efforts of nearly 50 passengers who lined up and on the count of three pushed against the train. Working in unison, they shifted the weight just enough to free Taylor's leg. The Apostle Paul recognized the power of Christians working together in many of his letters to the early churches. He urged the Roman believers to accept each other the way Christ had accepted them and said, May God give you the same attitude of mind toward each other that Christ Jesus had, so that with one mind and one voice you may glorify the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Unity with other believers enables us to broadcast God's greatness and also helps us to endure persecution. Knowing that the Philippians would pay a price for their faith, Paul encouraged them to strive together as one for the faith of the gospel, without being frightened in any way by those who oppose you. Satan loves to divide and conquer, but his efforts fail when, with God's help, we make every effort to keep the unity of the Spirit through the bond of peace. Today's Our Daily Bread devotional scripture reading is from Romans chapter 15, verses 1 through 7. We who are strong ought to bear with the failings of the weak and not to please ourselves. Each of us should please our neighbors for their good, to build them up. For even Christ did not please himself, but, as it is written, the insults of those who insult you have fallen on me. For everything that was written in the past was written to teach us, so that through the endurance taught in the scriptures and the encouragement they provide, we might have hope. May the God who gives endurance and encouragement give you the same attitude of mind toward each other that Christ Jesus had, so that with one mind and one voice you may glorify the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Accept one another, then, just as Christ accepted you, in order to bring praise to God. That's today's scripture reading from Romans chapter 15, verses 1 through 7. Dear God, please let Christians everywhere experience the blessing of unity in you. Remind us of what we have in common, one hope, one faith, and one Lord, Jesus Christ. In his name we pray, amen. Today's encouragement was provided by our Daily Bread Ministries.